Thank you, brother. Good morning, and thank you for coming. My name is Debbie Rose, and I'm the chair of the Committee on Youth Services. We are also joined by Council Member Brennan, Council Member Chin, and several others on their way. <laughs> Today we will be voting on intro number 713A, which would require the posting of important information pertinent to runaway and homeless youth, or RHY. Intro number 713A, sponsored by Council Member Van Bramer, would require that all DYC defunded runaway and homeless youth services prominently place signage informing youth where to call 24 hours a day with questions, comments, or complaints regarding the services they receive and other issues. This signage would also include where runaway and homeless youth may find rules governing RHY service and participant conduct and phone numbers to access mental health resources 24 hours a day. In addition, intro number 713A would require that DYCD report annually the number of runaway and homeless youth questions, comments, and complaints that are received their general nature, and the status of responses to these calls, including whether any responses resulted in service changes, service changes. As we know, runaway and homeless youth are a particularly vulnerable population. As a city, we owe it to these young people to be able to provide them with resources. In April of 2018, the Committee on Youth Services heard this bill with feedback from homeless advocates, youth advocates, and youth themselves. Intro 713A has been amended to reflect important changes regarding the provision of information to runaway and homeless youth, including the numbers where they may, help, they may call for help and referrals. Thus, intro number 713A will help to bridge the gap that some runaway and homeless youth face when they do not know who to call or when they may call for resources, while also strengthening reporting requirements to collect reliable and accurate data on how to serve this population more effectively. As the chair of the Youth Services Committee, I look forward to continuing to work with runaway and homeless youth and the issues that impact their lives. And I would like to thank Speaker Corey Johnson for his commitment to runaway and homeless youth. I'd also like to thank my staff, Edwina Martin and Issa Rogers, and committee staff, Paul Senegal, Kevin Katowski, and Michelle Peregrin. And more importantly, I want to thank the city's most precious population, our youth, and I would like to now ask the clerk to call the vote. And I encourage all of my council committee members to vote affirmatively. Thank you. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on youth services, introduction 713A, Chair Rose. 
I vote aye. Chin. I vote aye. Brennan. Aye. I vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Item has been adopted by the committee. And we will hold the vote open for another 15 minutes for um, council members to enter their vote. Thank you. Thank you, council members.